test. Test, test. So I'll double check everything, make sure everything is working fine. Make sure the sound is good. Check my phone, like. We kind of give you live videos, you never know if it's the sound is off or whatever. And my phone's running slow for some reason. Okay, I'm going to try something a little different today. I'm going to try a mic on the Amiibo camera. And there it goes. Sounds good. Okay. Let's get this party started. All right. Hi, welcome to Arm Wraps. My name is Randy Miller, and what you're seeing right here is a, it's a filing cabinet we're going to wrap, and we're going to use the die knock material. And this is the color we're going to use. It's called the FW1767, uh, and you can go to armwrapsstore.com. You can check out all the, the prices on there, and if you want to check out by the you can order by the yard. If you go to the four by three button, um, and then you can see how much it costs a yard. And if you need it, for instance, five yards of it, you go to the four by three button and then add quantity five, and you have one continuous five yards long by four feet wide uh, roll. So don't worry about the, if it's going to come in different sheets and everything. It's just going to be one big roll. So today I'm going to show you how uh, how to wrap this right here, this cabinetry or this uh, file cabinet. And uh, what it is, like, I cleaned it real good with uh, rubbing alcohol and water and get all the grooves around the edges. Also, what I recommend is using the Primer 94. And I went around here, around the edges here. You don't have to do the whole thing, just around any kind of edges that where you're going to be uh, wrapping to and make sure it doesn't lift up or anything. Uh, also, I'm going to use heat at the very end. That what it does is activates the glue a little bit more and it sinks it in even more. Actually, I'm going to use um, the tools I'm using is uh, all the old tools, and this is actually a bodyguard. It cuts the, the vinyl, um, your, uh, the vinyl or the backing. Also, the double cutter right here, and this is what I'm going to show you real quick about using the double cutter. I uh, love using my Betty. I'm going to actually get a new one. Uh, this is pretty hammered. Actually, I got several, but they're pretty hammered. I totally love them. Also, I'm going to show you how to use sandpaper to go cut without using the knife to cut the vinyl. I'm going to use sandpaper, and it and it gives a better edge um, to it, and it doesn't cut the certain things. It's a little safer this way. Um, so let's kind of get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the top part first, and kind of work work my way all the way around. Okay, so on the double cutter, what you see right here. Is I'm going to cut right here. It's what, it's what I call the tack. I'm tacking it on. So I'm just going to pull it off. Oops, this is for the door. place that vinyl. Now here's an opportunity to show you what a double cutter is. Okay. I'm going to do it here. Wrap it all the way around. This is 
like sometimes do. Sometimes I cut a little, a little extra over here, so I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna whatever I extras I have, I'm gonna use this for demonstrations or not demonstrations, but uh, little samplers. So I hand out to clients and say, "Hey, this is the real stuff." Okay, this is what the double cutter does. Hopefully, you can see that. I'm going between the paper and the vinyl. Pulling that off. So you can kind of see where the vinyl is at. Okay. So now, I'm going to kind of make sure it's all lined up the way I want it to line up. Tack it on when I call it a tack on. Double check everything. Move it over. Make sure it's all overlapping. Okay. Okay, it's two tools. I'm gonna use this guy right here, or it's called the Betty. You go on the old tools, or even a roller. Uh, this one's a kind of a smaller job, but I'm gonna show you both. The roller um, present, prevents scratching. Also, um, doing a lot of these, it, it's great for the hand or the arms. Also, it takes away all the air bubbles out too. You both do it, but this one actually does it a little bit better. Okay, so that one's done. And if you've got any comments or questions, comment down below. If you're looking for installers or anything like, like that, we can have you there. This is actually in Las Vegas. We're set, setting the shop in Las Vegas. And so if you want to come down and actually look at the product on the surfaces, we're wrapping a lot of things in the shop and to show people it is possible. Oh, yeah, it's slow. That's why. Sorry about that. So I'll make sure I still back on. Okay. That was weird. My camera started flashing for some reason. Usually it warns me before offline or um, is telling me that the, the internet's a little slow. Okay. Let's let's do this. Okay, there's two, like I said, there's two different ways, or several different ways to do the sides. You can actually use a little heat, and this is what I'm gonna show you right here. Okay, you're gonna watch it dance a little bit, or actually what I, what I call dancing. You can tell when it starts softening up. I'll go, you know, three or four inches this way, three or three or four inches that way. And then you can actually stretch it over. That's one way to do it. There's several different ways. I just gotta tell people if every once in a while be cautious because if you do it this way, uh, during time vinyl does shrink. But if you use let's go if you use the primer ninety four it should be fine.
I usually hit the corners first and then work my way in. I use heat at the very end before I cut. Oh, this one I'm not going to cut. Oh, I'm going to cut it, but I'm going to cut it a little shorter. But I'm not going to cut right at the edge. I usually cut eat heat. And what that does, it shrinks it back up, and then, then I cut after it cools down. I don't know if you can see that in the video, but it, the vinyl shrinks up a little bit. It's better cutting the vinyl when it's cold. It's a little more crisper that way. I'm going to cut... Come on. About a half inch. This is a little too high. Okay, yeah, the vinyl's going to soften up a little bit, and then when it starts softening up, the dancing, I guess I call it. But again, uh, if, if the vinyl glue activates a little bit better, and the vinyl sinks into the subject a little bit more, And once you start working with this, these vinyls, you can tell when, it, when it's good connection. And if you get little air bubbles, I see this one little guy right here. I'm gonna poke it a little bit, and then it disappears. I'm going to do a little quick little video, not after this, but I'm going to do a quick little video showing you when you get an air bubble. It's not that big of a deal to remove it. top part. Hopefully the video is not too etchy. I'm recording it, but uh, if it gets too choppy, I'll just delete this video and then upload the video again in a, in a higher format. All right. Okay, let's do the 
doors next. And on this one, anything you know, about this size, I like to do, we'll call it tacky on. And you, you don't have to do it. Actually, I'll show you a different way. There's two different, always a little different here and there. So I'm going to do, and then just pull it down far enough. I want to say about four inches. Okay, let's go like this. Let me get a little closer. And put the knife, squeegee. Pull out this door a little bit. Sometimes I put stuff in the door so it doesn't close. Sure, it's overlapped, overlapped, overlapped. Okay. So on this one, I'm just going to cut right where the metal is at. I like to use my finger now. Usually that's one of the best things to use. Now I'm going to show you a little technique. I'm going to, well I'm going to show you two different, different techniques. You can cut it right here. Um, a lot of times I like going uh, vinyl on top of vinyl, so I'm just going to straight across and about, I would say about one eighth of an inch. And that should be plenty. So this is one technique. I'm going to show you another technique on the other side. And using the Primer 94, I can tell it's, it's tacking on pretty good. goes right perfectly right on there and add a little heat later but that looks pretty nice right there so it's vinyl on top of vinyl okay let me let me kind of let you zoom in over here real quick it over right here. Now I can use my knife or I can just kind of do it how I call it the safe way. And what it does let's get the extras off. You don't cut into anything. And it just cuts itself basically. As you can see right there, so it's a, it's perfectly lined up with your uh, the edge. Okay, let's do that again. Let's go this way, and this is kind of the detail stuff. 
I'm using 220 grit sandpaper and it should just pull right off. There you go. And it's perfectly lined up. There you go. Hopefully you can see that. And so you don't have any sharp edges or anything like that. And you can it feels really good. That's that's another way you can do this. You can actually take your knife and go across this way. Uh, a lot of times I usually just like use a sandpaper. It only takes a moment, but it gets it makes a good feel to it. And there's no uh, there's no rip or anything on there. Okay, that door is done. back on this side I'll plug you in make sure I have all the power I can get and again if you got any comments or questions or if you're looking for installers or or questions about the vinyl you can always call me 208-696-1180 Okay, let's do let's do this door. paper backing down and I just want to tack it on. We're not going to do the top part this time. We're going to do there's the connection. Let's get that. Let's get that. This one, I'm just going to do the bottom part, kind of cut right to it. And do like a, well, an angle as a 45 degree angle cut. So there's actually uh, no lip. There you go. No lip. Sides. A lot of times I just like using the fingernail. Okay, take your time cutting it. We'll cut again. Of course, it's the sides, and no one's ever going to grab the sides, but um, just the small detail stuff that I like. Okay, use my fingernail, find where that groove is at. Get in there. Green will cut again. A little lip. See that little lip right there? And if you really want to, you can actually use sandpaper at the very end and use the sand. Okay, so far so good. Okay, 
let's hit the sides next. Actually, let's do the bottom part and get that out of the way. And I pre-cut everything because uh, I'll make the video a little quicker for you guys. Not really too exciting to watch a film cut final. On these long guys, it's fine just doing it this way. This one is probably actually sticking there really bad to really stick, but that's fine. Okay, on this one, the, the little lip, I don't want people seeing. There it goes. There. That looks good. Now there's a lock right there. I'm just going to cut that little lock. But uh, there's different ways you can do this. You can cut around the circle, or you can cut around the lock. I just, that little lock is fine. Alright, next. Where are you? There you are. Okay. We are almost done. Sure. Loop it all the way around. The beauty of the vinyl. You can remove that. Tired of it, you can remove it later. Doors off. Huh. Just keep both at the same time. Wow. Huh. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's always, always a device. Add a little heat at the very end.
Luego. You add a little heat to this if you want. Sometimes. Do is here, dump it off. Do you sandpaper? You can use a, a knife like this and kind of take off a little chunk right there. A lot of times I use the heat, and uh, that solves that little problem. Okay, I'll do the other side later. But uh, thank you again for watching this video. Uh, if you got any comment questions, comment down below and get a hold of me. At 208 696 1180, also rmraps at gmail.com. You can check up all the vinyls there at rmrapsstore.com and just again click on the 4x3 button. You can see how much it costs a yard. You can order samples there, and there's hundreds and hundreds of uh, different materials there. And uh, other than that, put any comments down. I like comments. Let me just show you what the close up basically is. I'm going to fine tune that little guy right there, but you can see what it looks like, kind of before and after. Alright guys, stay tuned, uh, i got two more videos, or three more videos uh, coming up, and um, yeah, stay tuned.